Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and today is a tutorial about how to reset Maya to its original condition when you first installed it. So let's say, for example, that you're starting to notice that there's something missing in Maya that maybe you accidentally, and again, I'm going to just mess this up a little bit, you pull this off and you try to put it back and then you somehow ended it up over here and it's just this whole thing just kind of gets, you know, ruined somehow. Boom. And then you're like, put it over here and it just causes all sorts of mayhem. So you can see you can move things around. Um, uh, the reason why I wanted to do this tutorial is because when I go to my hypershade, I noticed that my menu options were missing and I, you know, don't know where it is. So um, I could do all the research on how to find it. But in general, I actually want to show you guys just how to reset Maya so that everything goes back to normal. And it's really fantastic and, and easy. The first thing you need to do, though, is close out Maya. That's the first thing. And yes, I like Horizon Zero Dawn. That's why you see that there. And the next thing you need to go is to your documents. You're going to find Maya in here. And we're also going to see that there's a bunch of folders in here. And one of them is called 2020. If I open that up, there's a bunch of folders in here as well. Notice that I have Maya 19. That's because I used to have Maya 19, but I, I'm using currently Maya 2020. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and select everything here and just press delete. Now, don't worry. Most people are like, what are you doing? Don't worry, it's just presets. I'm gonna click on Maya and you're gonna see this folder populate. It's gonna ask me, do you wanna copy the old ones or keep uh, the default? I have preferences that I prefer to keep, so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy old one. If this is the problem, I could always reset the settings and say create default. So I'm gonna copy the old preferences and wait for Maya to open. Notice that all the folders have opened up, so we're good there. Give Maya a second or two. And now you'll notice that all of the windows that I had moved around are now back in its original location. If I go to my, I'm waiting for just a couple more seconds before I start pressing buttons. There it is. This is how I know that Maya has reset itself accordingly or perfectly is because I can, this is always turned off now. So I, sh I just turned this off, show this. At startup, I just turn it off and click OK. I'll never see it again until I reset Maya again. And then when I go to my hypershade, the big test here is my hypershade. And there you go. This menu item is back. So this is just an example of how to quickly reset Maya. So hopefully you found that helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions by leaving a comment below. Don't forget to take a look at academicphoenixplus.com where you can find three free videos, free downloads, free eBooks, so much more. So take a look at academicphoenixplus.com and don't forget to like and share. I think this would be very helpful, uh, especially to new students who are learning how to use Maya. Uh, make sure that you know this little trick because I know when I was starting new in Maya that this method really helped me and I still use it to this day. It would be fantastic if you could share this with anybody that you feel could find this useful. All right, guys, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.